Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Today is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to everybody. I have uh, a journal spread from the Boho Birds December journal that I've been working on and I wanted to just quickly share that. Um, I have yet to show you the Christmas Day page. I'm catching up from being busy yesterday. I, I can't even keep up with the days at this point. We were invited to a beautiful Christmas party last night and oh I know why yesterday went by so quickly. I say every year that I'm not going to be out with the last minute shoppers and it never that never works. I'm always out with the last minute crowd and the day was wonderful. Everybody was so pleasant and that's always a wonderful thing. Anyway, I had to do a page about my beautiful crows, and of course they're not. I, I was tempted to put my beautiful crow, but I put the beautiful crow because the birds belong to everybody, even though the crow is one of my favorites. I, again, have been busy, so this spread is not really elaborate. It's a lot of layers. Um, and one thing I wanna say when you're journaling and working on journal pages, it's really easy to get to a point and say, this is awful. I mean, for me, I, I will say I, I don't like this at all, but keep going. Keep, if you have a layer that you don't care for, don't stop, just cover it up. And um, you can see very faintly under here, part of a pattern piece, and it's got a very 50s style. Once I put it down on the page, I didn't really like the way it looked, so I just put some gesso over it. And you can see it, bleeding through a little bit. If I end up even not liking that, I will go back over it with more gesso. You can see a beautiful crow here, and this image came from the Graphics Fairy. This image here came from a bird book that I have that I cut from. There's a lot of layering of gesso, and there's actually some black acrylic paint mixed in. And then I went over that with more white gesso and some Distress ink. I'm really hard on Distress ink pads, I tell you. This is some beautiful trim that I picked up recently from the Scrap Exchange. I love it on this page. When I bought it, I wasn't sure what I would do with it, but it ties in perfectly with my black crow there. I wanted this edge to feel just a little bit steampunk. Um, I grabbed the, the quickest embroidery thread that I could find that would that would match pretty closely. And it ended up being this lavender, which I like. There's some gold thread in this page. And my journal entry is in here. There is a little rook card on top of it. This stamp, um, I almost got rid of this stamp at one point because I just, I don't know, every time I used it, I felt like it didn't tie in with what I was working on. But I love it here, and I'm a little bit surprised. I, I picture this image as being, I think maybe in my mind it's supposed to be a bright yellow flower or a bright white flower with a yellow center, like a summer flower, a chrysanthemum, or a daisy or something like that. But I stamped it and I used a watercolor pencil, which of course I then added water to, to spread that ink around the petals. And I put some tacky glue in the center and covered it with some gold, uh, not gold, some black glitter that I have. And I don't use this a lot, but sometimes it does really work. And I love it on this page. This says knowledge. Crows are known and ravens are known for being pretty smart birds. Um, that just flips up in case I want to put something under here. And again, I may go back with all of these pages and add some things. So that's it. That's the whole thing. I will be back soon to share my Christmas page. And I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.